Try it again. Shout bigger. Uh-huh. Now that's the word I believe God has for this church, for you, the people of God, as we come in and cross into 2012. God put this in my spirit. He said that he's going to do bigger in you so he you can do bigger for him. Now I'm going to say it again. He's going to do bigger in you so you can do bigger for him. So so what this means is is if you are a hoarder of the blessings of God, if you're a hoarder of miracles of God, and you know you get something and then you just run with it, uh, then then bigger's not for you. But those people that are willing to give back to the people of God and touch people's lives, how many would like God to bless you and such a way that would be so phenomenal that you could go and feed a whole family or you could you could I, I, am I talking to somebody today that God would pour in your life so tremendously that you can go and say hey say to a single mother don't worry about it Christmas is on me I got I got you I I got you somebody shout bigger in this place bigger bigger See, sometimes uh, God bigger. has to allow garbage to happen in our life every time that Naya was talking to Hannah. She was saying stuff, negativity. Why can't you have babies? Why can't you do it this way? Why haven't you got a promotion? Why haven't you found a man? Why, 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 why? And it seems like your haters keep coming and bringing trash in your life. They keep throwing stuff after they've used it up. They question you. Why do you keep going to church? It doesn't break off for your life you're still sick and you're praying to God to do something you're still struggling and it comes and they keep trying to bring up the garbage in your life is there anybody that has somebody in your life that is always bringing up garbage well you used to be this you used to do this you used to go through this you used to experience this they keep throwing garbage at your life wondering when is it going to change and you just keep saying well I don't know but God is about to do something in my life they can say they say well 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 God hasn't done anything yet well I know but God is about to bring something in my life keep throwing the trash at me keep throwing the junk at me is there somebody that knows what I'm talking about where somebody always in your life wants to bring trash wants to bring circumstances uh, oh, oh and, then, and then there's the baggage that you have to carry there's the stuff that you have to go through there's the process that you have is there anybody that carries some baggage in your life you've been through some stuff you've had some issues you've had some concerns it seems like life is heavy it seems like life is this the weight of life keeps being thrown at you you go through stuff after stuff issue after issue and it's like you're carrying baggage the weight is heavy the load is heavy I've been through a lot if they knew my story if you knew what I had to go through to get here come on accessory has anybody ever felt like you've had to carry a lot of weight? I, I don't know who I'm talking to today, but I know this. Listen, when you expect bigger, you have to understand that bigger comes after you as well. There's something that tries to distract you. See right here with the garbage. Here, give me the garbage. With the garbage and, and with the baggage, this could make somebody give up it could make somebody throw in the towel because it feels like god i don't know if this is worth it i, I don't know if this is I, i've been through hell and i've been through high water i've gone through some circumstances i've gone through some issues it always feels like when i get ahead all of a sudden something else weighs me down slap somebody a high five and tell them bigger 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 come on slap some, slap somebody a high five and say 2012 is bigger for you baby I speak bigger over your children. I speak bigger over your house. I speak bigger over your education. I speak bigger. Sit, sit down, sit down, sit down. Come on, sit down. 
something I, I don't know but Hannah 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 had to keep carrying the weight and see what she didn't understand is her process was different than Paniah's process because Paniah was called to have children but that's not the call that was on Hannah's life Hannah could have been a stay-at-home mom, but God didn't call her to be a stay-at-home mom. God called her to birth something that would change. A generation calls her to birth something that would bring the Israelite army into war. She was raising up an oracle, a voice in the wilderness. She was raising up something that would impact the life of a nation don't want you to fret in your season of barrenness see what you have to understand is because the miracle is bigger than you your wait is longer the bigger the miracle the longer the wait the bible says that when the priest saw her giving the call he thought she was drunk but she said I'm not drunk, but what you don't know is I'm called to bigger, and I've been carrying this thing for years, and people have talked about me. My husband's other wife pokes at me and tells me I'm good for nothing, but I know there's something inside of me. I feel something happening in my life and the Bible says uh, that she began to to begin to war just a little bit uh, and she began to decide uh, enough is enough uh, enough is enough uh, and what was happening I would offer to you what was happening she was taking all of the trash sit down and all of the junk don't worry I'm not going to throw your bags in here and all of the issues and I would offer to you that before the end of this year you take all of the hell all of the negative statements All of the issues of life, all of the problems that she was facing, she began in that one moment to grab what was happening into her life and to put it in one side of her. She grabbed every issue and she put it in one place and all of a sudden there was a cry that began to form from her big toe. There was something she had never done before. She took all of the garbage, all of the hell, all of the conflict, all of the issues, and she brought it in front of God and said, Lord, I've been carrying this weight for years, but something has to shift. Something has to change. And all of a sudden, she got her strength and she said Lord sit down. sit down I'm closing here see a lot of us would have given up already we would have thrown in the towel we would have said enough is enough but no when you're called to carry bigger when you're called to do the supernatural you look at every bit of hell that you've had to face and you say it didn't kill me (laughs) so what it did is it made me stronger and i've been carrying this baggage I've been carrying this weight. My haters have been provoking me. You've been irritating me. You've been talking about
about me you've been calling me and telling me I'm not going to do it why don't I give up why don't I stop why do I keep believing in God to do this thing well you don't understand the God that I serve the word of God said if my Lord said it his word is yea and amen and what she did on that day is she said Lord I'm going to let go of a shout I'm going to let go of a cry that will cause all of the hell that will cause all of the issues in my life to come to culmination and I would declare to you today that if you let go of a shout If you let go of a shout today, uh, this is the very shout uh, that will open up the heavenlies uh, because you haven't died, uh, because it hasn't stopped you. What it did was uh, it made you stronger. It made you more of a warrior. And I decree uh, that what the enemy meant for evil, uh, what he meant to stop you, uh, what he meant to discourage you, I decree in the name of Jesus, uh, it's nothing more than and strike training it all of the hell all of the issue all of the pain it's birthing bigger baby if there's somebody in here that's stronger because of what you've been doing, shout hallelujah. Shout one time hallelujah. Look at somebody next to you and flex up and say, I'm just getting stronger. I'm getting ready for my bigger. I'm getting ready for what God has in my life slap somebody a high five and tell them it's just strength training it's just God preparing you for bigger it's God getting ready to take you to another level it's God getting ready to take you to another place I am stronger I am better and I'm ready for bigger somebody shout bigger Raise your trash. Every one of you raise your trash. And let the enemy know what you've thrown at me. It's making me stronger. It's making me stronger. And I'm ready for bigger. Woo! Slap somebody a high five. And tell them bigger, 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 bigger. Matter of fact, let your whole row know God's about to do bigger in 2012. God's about to do bigger. God's about to do. They think you're crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm just getting stronger. How do you keep handling it? I'm not crazy. I'm just getting stronger in Jesus. Shout hallelujah. Uh, when you're called to do bigger you have to be strong and your delay doesn't mean God has forgotten your delay doesn't mean God doesn't know you're there your delay doesn't mean you're in error but I came to let somebody know your delay means you're getting stronger. Now watch this. Everybody stand. The 
Bible tells us the thing that Hannah cried for because of all the weight training. You know what she was able to do? Give it back to God. 